COVID inquiries going on. Boris Johnson refused to sack liar Matt Hancock, despite warning he was killing people. It's, 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 I don't understand. Where do we get these people from? Boris, the old should accept their fate. What does that mean? Herd immunity. There's Peston back in the day when it first started. They thought that was the main strategy. Boris Johnson believed he should let old people get COVID and make them accept their fate so young people can get on with it. He told AIDS he sympathised with the view that COVID was nature's way of dealing with old people. The Daily But Who are they? You supported him. You said he was, what did you say? He got all the right decisions right. UK's old people should accept their fate from COVID. Boris Johnson's pride. It's horrific. The COVID inquiry is horrific. Now Cummings feels the heat. Front page of the Daily Fail, who supported Boris Johnson, who supported... There were concerns about Boris Johnson's relationship with the Barclays and the Telegraph. There were specific concerns and also suspicions of possible corruptions in terms of his relationship with George Osborne and funneling money to the evening standard, says Dominic Cummings. The COVID inquiry hears that in a meeting between Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak, he complained, we're killing the patient to tackle the tumour. Large number of people will die. What is, what is wrong with this world? Boris Johnson government believe there's no effective to herd immunity. Boris Johnson prioritised the views of the Daily Telegraph over all the actual evidence on the impact of the lockdown, according to his former aide, Lee Kane. We are led by the least amongst us, the least visionary, the least noble, the least intelligent. We are led, we, 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 what the hell? Who are we led by?